النظام الشاب يريد اسقاط النظام الشاب يريد اسقاط النظام People say that the people want the fall of the regime. The people want the fall of the regime. People want the down of the regime. People want to remove the regime. We welcome here the Syrian opposition delegation. Peace upon you, people, and we hope you very nice year. I've stood here speaking in the last year, speaking in the name of the Syrian opposition, and I wish that this year we could have done the same gathering in Damascus or in Sana'a, in Baghdad or in Tehran, in Jerusalem or in Jerusalem that we all love. But but today we celebrate at the same place because we did not over we did not overcome the language of threatening to act we didn't do we only spoke this killer regime that stands in Tehran, that transgress freedoms and execute prisoners and political prisoners, this evil regime that interferes in all the region, creating chaos, creating this regime, this criminal regime actually, that trying to establish ideas on politics and acts, sectarian acts, sectarian based acts, this killer regime that created and manufactured and tortured and created terrorism that represents him and its head and its main cause. This criminal regime that occupied Iraq, that criminal regime that created chaos in Syria, that has established more than 80,000 fighters to kill innocent people, to kill civilians, to kill children and women. This regime, this killer regime, that supports fascistic and terrorist organizations like Hezbollah in Lebanon and Hezbollah in Iraq and Houthis in Yemen and all the terrorist organizations. This regime do not understand on, understands only acts, only. And I tell you that the heroes of the Free Syrian Army has defeated him in Daraa. In Jara, in the south of Syria, where the regime of Malali and what's rest of Assad's regime has attacked it militarily, barbaric attack to terrorize the city. And it's now more than four weeks that Dara witnessing this attack. He used all kinds of people, including the forbidden, the international forbidden weapons. But our heroes, our Free Syrian Army heroes had taught him a lesson that we'll never forget. And many, many of these mercenaries has fell down between... We were never were... We were never were killers. We never liked killing or destroying. But now we defend ourselves. We defend ourselves against a regime who's trying to kill us. Our people, our brothers, and your brothers from the heroic Syrian people who stood in the face of this regime has always been facing him for more than seven years. And they are with you continually fighting against this regime, sacrificing all. And we are still trying to give and always giving all in order to reach the same goal, which is freedom and freedom that we want to our people as also to your people. And every free people try to seek this 
liberty and justice. The world today, it's the moment for the world today, and I think people who are in here represent most the countries in the world. We now have to move from words to acts, and we have to adapt a, an effort, international effort, in order to, produ to produce efforts to remove this criminal regime from its roots. These efforts should support the regional, the regional acts that try to destroy the Iranian regime and its hands in the area. These efforts this effort always seeks to kick out the Iranian militias and the revolutionary army from Syria, Lebanon, Iraq and Yemen and all the countries in the world that this regime works in in order to live in order that the Middle East have stability, peace, and freedom as we need. Because, my brothers, we can never have peace and stability. We cannot stop on the face of terrorism unless we do this. And now people who adapt a clear quality against terrorism and who are, and who are serious about this, they should go to Tehran. The fall of the regime in Tehran means the end of terrorism. And we can see if this is if this regime fell, all the terrorist organizations or groups will vanish. These group efforts all must sanction the regime of Malali on an international level. We should sanction it and force it to fall. We have to commit its we have to, to condemn its crime and its war crimes and against humanities. We have to try to see to get it out of the Islamic organization cooperation. We shouldn't be represented in the Islamic organization that a country like this that supports terrorism. This country destroys everything in the world, especially in the Arab world and Europe. Countries should stop, stop their relationship and deals and dealings with the Iranian regime, whether polit polit politically or economically. So, in order, in order, we can make a real change towards freedom and democracy. In order, so we can live in peace, everyone in the Middle East. This mutual living means the respect of everyone's rights. And since our aim is one and our fight is the same. I ask you, my friends, to create a united front with the Mujahid, with Mujahidi Khalq in order to create plans and powers to organize our movements in order to remove this fascistic regime in Iran. People want to la chute de la regime. The people want the down of the regime. People want the regime to go. People want the regime to fall. People want the regime to fall. My brothers in Mujahidi Khalq, my brothers in every party and political party, my brothers in all research centers and in civil organizations, as long as there is new circumstances and the international the international world, the international committees to sanction this regime. We ask you to invest in these actions and organizations and activities and efforts that try to 
destroy this regime and make it fall and sanction it in order to make it stop its terrorism and order to to make in order we have to unite our efforts and make Hezbollah and all the militias that are following Iran to be to be stigmatized as terrorist organizations and to be marked as this and in the name of the Syrian people that's fighting for freedom and liberty we tell you that we are with you and we support your struggle and we stand by you in order to reach our our mutual aim and I long live Syria, long live free Syria, long live the Syrian people, long live the Iranian people fighting for its freedom. The people wants down of the regime, the people wants the regime to go, the people wants the regime to go. Look everyone, look where I can see, I can see among you people the flags of the Syrian revolution that are mixed with the flags of the Iranian opposition. That means we share the same goals. And I hope that we can translate this into acts and actual efforts internationally. And I hope that we can reflect this on reality and high levels of coordinations between us to seek our goals. And I ask God that our next meeting will be in Tehran or in Damascus or in Baghdad and in Sana'a or in Jerusalem. If we all unite our efforts, for we know that we will succeed in the name of Allah. And I tell you, Happy New Year to you all, my brother, my Muslim brothers. And we say Iran should be free, and the regime wants to throw down, and the people wants to throw down the regime. The people wants to throw down the regime. The people wants to throw down the regime. The people want to throw down the criminal regime of Bashar al-Assad. The people want to throw down the Malali regime in Iran. The people want to throw down every dictatorship in the world. And peace upon you, my friends and my brothers.